My name is Dan Newby, and we're at the uh, Hot Wheels show in Greenwood, Indiana. And this is my truck behind me. I've got a 19, it's a 1956 Ford uh, C800. It used to be a fire truck. It was in a farmer's field uh, in Franklin, Indiana. And uh, it was uh, just a semi-tractor with the weeds growing around. And that was 10 years ago. And so I've been working on it about seven years that converted it from a fire truck into this. It, it got very involved because it was a fire truck. It had been painted four times with fire truck paint. So we electrocuted electrolysis. The whole truck has been electrocuted and that causes the paint to turn into chewing gum and all the rust and the paint fell off of it. And so it's, it's just water and electricity. So the whole truck has been electrocuted to clean it off, to start over. Um, just about every part on it I built, the sun visor, uh, the front fenders, or that's a pickup fender on a semi fender, made the sun visors, made the bed, uh, the exhaust pipes, the cabinetry. Uh, it just goes on and on and on. Seven, seven years of work, it, a lot of fabricating, a lot of building of uh, crazy, insane things. I've always done fabricating. Uh, for a living, I've built conveyors and automation for uh, Cadillac North Star and different places like that, piston orientation, piston handling. So I've always been a fabricator and a welder. But I got into, uh, uh, when I got back to Vietnam, I bought an International Harvester Scout. And I worked on it, I've had it 53 years, and I fabricated on it, and then I started on this 10 years ago. So it's just an evolution of uh, ideas and insanity <laughs> and different things. If you look at the truck, it's made out of, there wasn't any money spent on this truck. The guy who painted it, painted it for free. He'd never painted a car in his life. The woodwork came from a local sawmill. The guy did it for free. I made parts for his car. The guy who painted it, I made parts for his car. So in, re in return, they made parts for me. So the woodwork, the paint, the upholstery inside was done by a husband and wife. They upholstered the inside. Uh, but it just goes on and on. The lights on top of the cab, those are 30 millimeter bullets. Uh, they came from the test range in Arizona. My, my son works and designs guns. Those have been shot on the test range in Arizona. Those are from the attack helicopters. So everything on the truck has a story and a history. That's why I ended up on here. I teach high school robotics. And every year there's a different theme for the robots, for the kid, high school kids. Trying to teach them there are no wrong answers. So one year it was space oriented. You had to build a robot to do some things in first, first robotics. And we built this. The, the front is a nose cone off a Piper airplane. The engine is a lampshade off a garage. The dome is a top from a salad bowl from a grocery store. There's over a thousand pop rivets in that. It was to teach kids you can do things, even though you don't know how, you can accomplish this by just determination. It's just pretty cool because it was to, done to teach an idea. But it's been sitting in my shop for the last four or five years, so I made this platform and it raises up and down. I need something to haul. If you have a truck like this, you've got to haul something. Uh, you cannot go to a gas station without drawing a crowd. People have never seen things like this. Um, every motorcycle you pass, every truck driver you pass, every Jeep you pass, you get thumbs up out the windows. People slow down when they pass you and take pictures. People yell at you on the side of the road. It is, it's, I never thought about this. I never, that's not the reason I build it for attention, but it seems to, I don't know, people like it and I'm really happy about that.